Andesite Trolleys Incorporated has been working on the relocation and restoration of a Wilkes-Barre trolley for the past few months. Conrad Bout, president of Andesite Trolleys Incorporated, says they brought the trolley to the restoration site on July 1st. This trolley was built in 1924 by the J.G. Brill Company of Philadelphia, world's largest manufacturer of trolleys and electric uh, rail vehicles. The trolley was purchased by Wilkes-Barre Transport and was in service from 1933 to 1950 in Wilkes-Barre. It was again purchased in 1951, but this time it was built into part of a cottage. Five years ago, the Anthracite Trolleys Incorporated began to work with the trolley's owner to remove it from the house. Now, the second phase of restoration begins, starting with the removal of rust that is built up on the trolley. Vincent Shea, owner and operator of Bieber Blasting, says his company was called in to resurface the trolley by using a new method. Basically what we're going to do is use water and glass combination with an anti-rust uh, chemical to basically strip all of the rust and paint chips and everything else that is that has been on this trolley. This new method gets rid of the rust that is environmentally friendlier than a normal sandblaster. It's going to make our volunteers help so much easier without having to be inside the car with paint strippers, with sanding blocks, and piles and piles of sandpaper. The method also takes a much shorter time to remove the rust without warping the metal or damaging the wood of the trolley. We're able to uh, adjust the pressure itself which actually adds to the versatility of the machine where we could adjust it to do something like metal to something as soft as wood. Bout says there are many more phases to finish before the trolley is ready but that this is a good start. When it's finished the trolley will go to the Electric City Trolley Museum in Scranton and be part of the operating fleet. Bout says visitors will be able to ride on a Scranton trolley or on a Wilkes-Barre trolley. Once again, we'll be trying to bring, bring the idea of Wilkes-Barre, Scranton, Luzerne County, Lackawanna County, more regional. You know, we're all on the same boat, and, and this car will be a very nice addition to their collection. Anthracite Trolleys Incorporated estimates that this restoration will cost about $300,000. It plans to finish the trolley in three to four years. In Sawyersville, Rave the Eyewitness News.